Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today, we're gonna to talk about walking my dog. Are you prepared to walk your dog? Do you even know what it's like to walk a golden doodle? Well, let me share you some of my experiences. So, if you're familiar with some of my videos, you know I've got a couple dogs. I've got a, a, a really good laid back chilled boxer that's great. And then I've got this golden doodle. Super cool, all right? Amazing dog, love this dog. They both know our routine. They both know I get up, I have a little coffee, and then they know it's about time to go. So when I stand up out of my chair and head to get socks, they get all fired up and they're ready to go. So uh, I use this tandem harness to walk my dogs. The big ones for Super Coop, and the little ones for Harley. There we go. So, this is how I have walked them. All right? So we start off, as soon as we walk out the door, the boxer throws his ears up, and, and he's on a mission. He's on a mission to walk. Man, this dude doesn't stray. All he does is, they, he, both dogs know the route, and, and Harley the boxer is on a mission. He's here to walk, right? Now, he does get a little sketched out. He's willing to throw hands with any of those Christmas decorations. Man, he ain't taking no flack from Rudolph. That red nose or not, that dude will jack Rudolph up. So, for all my neighbors, sorry. So, Coop, man, he, he's all excited and he's ready to go. And he, and he promises me he's gonna be a good boy. And before we hit the end of the driveway, he looks up at me, he's like, hey dad, man, don't get mad, but I'm gonna do my thing. And you never know what he's gonna do. Man, he smells so much stuff and he sniffs and the boxer's pulling straight. So I got one lead that's pulling straight. And then Cooper, he's going left, he's going right. He's, he's all over the place. This dude, straight out of control. And, and I read once where dogs view their walk as one of their best times of the day. So I, I, I let them do what they want to do. Now, Coop, that dude's like 110 pounds. He, he's over 105, I do know that. And my boxer's like 65. So when Coop stops, we all stop, right? So Harley, he don't care. He's still got his ears at attention. He's looking for Christmas decorations, Halloween decorations. He's going to jack with one of them, right? Heaven forbid to be a cat because he's all over it. Coop, he don't know what's going on. He's just sniffing stuff and looking at stuff and just out on a Sunday cruise. So Harley, boxer, he won't pee, he won't crap, he won't anything on a leash. He won't do it. Man, he will hold that thing till we get home. Coop, man, the minute we walk out, he's just looking for a spot. So I'm prepared. So these little bags. Now this is the secret. Now, I hope that you're someone that, that is responsible in wash, walking your pet. I am. Now, I'm the guy that does the reverse bag thing, right? So, I open up the bag, and I reverse it, and I scoop my poop. And then I pull it inside out. Now, for purposes, I'm going to put this in there just so we have something, right? And then I give it a little twist here. Now, mind you, it's 5, 30, 6 o'clock in the morning. Coop just provide this sample for me, and it's soft, and it's wet, and it's smelly, and oh, it's just, it's the pleasure of my day. He's feeling better now, and he's looking at me, smiling, and saying, hey, you want to get that for me? So now I've got this bag, right? So I have this tandem leash, and I'm right-handed, so I put my hand through there, and I grabbed the leash. Remember, I got a 110 pound doodle and a 65 pound boxer. They will wrap me up and take me down. They've done it before. So I hold on to them. In my left hand, I have my phone. Um, business wise, I, I gotta have my phone. I gotta be able to talk. So I have my phone. What am I doing with that bag? So I've got this little routine. I put in that little knot and then I grip this between a couple fingers. And just so you know, this is hand sanitizer, so I clean my hands. Still just, it's, all right? So I'm tooling down the sidewalk, 
with my two dogs and this bag of poop. Now, you can do whatever you want. You can wear a Harley Davidson t-shirt and prove your manlyhood. You can do Edelbrock or let's go drag racing, whatever. But how tough are you when you got a bag of poop in your hand? It is what it is. And so we're just tooling down the street. And then Coop does his thing. He goes left, he goes right. And every time he goes left and right, maybe these leads right here, this thing's doing this, right? So how tough are you when you got a bag of crap slapping around? Do you know how strong these bags are? They should build a NASA shuttle out of this material. This stuff is the toughest thing I've ever seen. Because, trust me, I've tested the limits. You know, it's just unbelievable. This is the greatest invention ever. Whoever came up with these poop bags, genius, love you, dude. Love you. You really saved my day. So typically, my dog goes within the first couple blocks of the house. And then I've got to go uh, 1.2 miles before I get to the park. And the park is where I drop this into a trash can. Now, the sanitation worker at the park, man, you on your A-game, bro, because that trash can is full. Seven days a week, we drop off a, a stool sample of coop. So, if you're walking a dog and you got one of these, man, have your plan together. Don't be a guy that's just leaving around, right? So, you can only be so tough with a bag of poop flopping around, all right? So, keep that in mind when you're walking your dog. Otherwise, it's a great day. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. Stay safe, have a great day. Love your pet.